Hello guys, so in this video I'll be talking about uh, one dimensional arrays in C and I'll try to clarify the difference between if the name of the array, um, the address of the first element of the array and the address of the entire array. So let's get started. So what I mean by all of this is that if I have if I have an array, let us say this array is ARR of three. All right, and it's equal to one, two, three. All right, I initialize the array so in this case we will have a r r of 0 equal 1 a r r of 1 is equal to 2 a r r of 2 is equal to 3 right so what we're talking about here is that the elements each element this is this is this one here this and this we're clear with this now the address of these three elements will occupy some memory right these three elements here so let's try to get down to that aspect of things how do we deal with um memory in the system so can i okay so bear with me here i'll try to explain that now all right so let's go good so we're talking about a r r of three is equals to one two three now this will occupy a block of memory And let's say this is int. All right. So each one is going to occupy four bytes of memory. So let us say you're going to have here one, two, and three. So the address here is going to be ARR. It's the, the starting address, right, of the first element of the array is actually the name of the array a r r now the second element of the array will be a r r plus 2 but this a r r plus 1 sorry so what I mean by this one, one is equivalent to four bytes of memory. So if we are starting here with, let's say this address is a thousand, here is gonna be a thousand and four, then the second element is gonna be ARR, the third element is gonna be ARR plus two. So this is gonna be starting at a, at a thousand, and eight now what i want to explain here so the array ends here right this is a block all right no i'm gonna draw next block here this is not existing in the system, but I'm just going to draw this. 
So what I want to explain is that what if we have ampersand ARR? What is this? Now I'm going to run this code so you're going to see the difference. So ARR will give us the address of the first element of the array. And ampersand ARR will also give us the same address, <clears throat> the first element. But there's a difference between ARR and ampersand ARR. ARR is the base address of the first element of the array. And ampersand ARR is the starting address of the entire array block. So ARR plus one, ampersand ARR plus one is gonna be this address here. So this might be one, zero, one, two. Whereas here is ARR, and let us say this is equal to a thousand, ARR plus one is going to just be a thousand and four. In as much ARR and ampersand ARR, they start at a thousand, right? So there's a difference between ARR and ampersand ARR. In this case, this is a base address of the array, and this is the starting address of entire Array. So let's go to the code and look at this. All right. So um, let me just get a nice background for you. Good. So if I run, if I run a code now here. Let's look at cat array dot c. So I'm just gonna look here. You you see I'm looking at the array, and I'm printing the address of arr and ampersand arr. So let's run this. Um, array dot c. Nice o. R1 and let's look at what we get here. So you see the address ARR and ampersand AR have the same address. Now what what happens? We're gonna run this code. Array two dot c. Just look at this. <coughs> I'm going to be comparing arr plus one and ampersand arr plus one. Right? Those are the core elements we're looking at. Um, so let's go to that now. Let's clear a less and ACC array two dot C O R two R two. Here you go. So you see that ARR and ampersand ARR they have the same starting address. But if you add one to ARR, right, you get 
20, you got 10, 20, 10, 24. So you got a four bytes increase. So you go to the next element. But when you add one to ampersand ARR, because the size of the array is, uh, it has three um, <coughs> elements, three integers, so that's 12 bytes, you're jumping from 1020 to 1032. So you're jumping by the whole array block to the next array block. Now, asterisk ARR is just doing uh, inward indirection and dereferencing the, um, the address to get the contents at that address. So, asterisk ARR will give you one and asterisk ARR plus one. So you dear reference and you have one and you plus one you get two. So this is all I wanted to show in this video is that there is a difference between ARR, right? And ampersand AR plus one. ARR is the base address of the array and it's a starting address of the first element of the array whereas ampersand arr is the starting address of the entire array right so when you add one to them depending on the size of the block if you have 10 elements here and they are integers that's going to give you like a 40 byte jump for ampersand ar plus one compared to a four bytes jump for arr plus one so guys this is all for now and this is just an introduction to showing um some um points involved in understanding um, arrays and um, we're going to get to the pointer part later all right so do subscribe to my channel spectrum 1844 bye for now